Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. What's going on, crew? Alrighty, so today we're going to be unboxing a new diecast from Jada. Um, this one came out about a month or two ago. I know that it is still for sale on a couple websites. So this one is from their Marvel series, and it is the Garden Gardens of the Galaxy, Star-Lord. So it's Star-Lord and the 1967 Shelby GT500. Now this is a scale 124th, comes with the vehicle there and a figure. We have opened some of these in the past, so if you wanna go check them out, go check out our playlist for our Marvel cars. There is the logo there. You have the Garden of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord again. And then on the back, it just shows the vehicle and figure. Now, I do know that they did make a um, Groot one, which we have not unboxed yet either. Um, so they so far have Groot and Star-Lord. Uh, don't know if I saw any more that they're coming out with this year, but Jada this year is coming out with a crazy amount of new castings, not only for Marvel, but for Fast and the Furious and a whole bunch of other stuff. So this year should be a really good year for them. They got a bunch of new licensing, I'm guessing, since they're coming out with all these. So what we're going to do is go ahead and get this thing out of the box and then we'll take a closer look at it. Alrighty, everybody, and we are back. All right, so first, let's go ahead and start off with item numbers. This one is gonna have a couple of different ones. So on this one, you have a one item number for the box, which is 32915. And then the vehicle usually has a different item number and the character. So this one is 32991, scale 124th, 1967 Shelby GT500. And then every once in a while, the characters do have one as well. So right here, 32992. So character, vehicle, and box all have different item numbers. But I think if you want to search it, if you search the box number, that one will probably be the best. So I guess, first of all, we'll go ahead and start it with the character. So this is a Star-Lord character. Uh, let's see here. It measures about two inches tall. Um, does sit very nicely with his um, sitting on his knee. And this one is pretty cool. The whole thing is actually die cast. Um, the weapons are his head is his arms are the body and the legs and the shoes sometimes like the arms will be plastic or like the accessories will be plastic but this one actually looks like it is a full die cast figure so that is pretty cool then you have the details on his mask his jacket his shirt his pants all that good stuff it is very nice and detailed and then what jada does is they basically take this figure and the color scheme and turn it into a vehicle so there are some cool things that i think i noticed that um hopefully we can see in the vehicle so now this one is the 67 ford or no not ford shelby gt500 so when you take a look at the front here, everything inside there is plastic, does have the logo in the grill. And then again, it is that same color as his jacket. And then for the hood, we have it as a like um, darker gray. So that's almost like his pants. And then going along the side here, you got these nice same gray wheels, which could almost be like his pants. You have the Guardians of the Galaxy emblem, a couple of other colors. Then you got silver there. The mirrors are the rubbery style, which are gray. Take a look at the inside. 
nothing special everything is just all black plastic does have stickers for the gauges back there all right and then going along to the back everything is die cast the base is plastic you got the marvel for license plate the logos deck lid trunk nothing in there um chrome exhaust and then you have these um red tail lights which are kind of weird because they're not like the plastic they actually have like some texture to them and i think they're supposed to be replicating his eyes because his eyes do have like that red textured look especially in the movie when i think they flop up and flop down so i'm pretty sure they're modeling it after that and then of course the back end is gray which would be like his helmet so this would be like his head his body and then the pants so that is pretty cool i know on one time they painted like the roof yellow which would be his hair but if they're saying this is his front i don't know but it's kind of cool so it kind of fits the color theme of the character there is the passenger side i don't know what this lighter what the lighter orange and the purple would be that might be for their logo or something because i don't see any of that on the character but i really do like these wheels all right, looking under the hood. All right, nothing too special, just an all black plastic casting. So there we go. So this was actually a really cool model. Um, I think I have a couple versions of the Shelby GT500. I know they came out with an all black one. I don't think I picked that one up, black on black on black. But there we go. There is Star-Lord driving his Shelby gt 500 which i could actually see him driving this in the movie he seems like the kind of guy that would own own this car so there we go there is a new jada for you guys i know we've been putting up a bunch of hot wheels and stuff like that but um i'm trying to do a lot more stuff we're gonna have a, a lot more hot wheels this year we're gonna have a lot more jada this year i got some mini gts it's going to be a nice variety of everything. And like I said, I did put up a sneak peek of what Jade is supposed to be releasing this year. And if that's true and everything that's on there, it's going to be a nice year for, for some of these models. So on that note, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you can join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew. And then hit that bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we put up a new video here on the channel. Uh, definitely check out our Facebook and Instagram page. Facebook has a um, picture album of every single car that we unbox, different pictures, information, item numbers, all that good stuff. Definitely go check that out. Check out the link in the description. Um, our link tree is up to date with our all of our sites, our affiliate link, um, our uh, site if we have anything for sale, all that good stuff. So definitely check out the link tree in the description. And there we go. Another amazing unboxing here. So again, thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you who likes, subscribe, shares, all that good stuff. Thanks for letting this channel grow. I hope that we can grow even more this year. So there we go. Another unboxing by Spend Too Much Diecast. So there we go, guys. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.
thanks for watching another video from Spent Too Much Diecast. If you will, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, check out our Facebook page where there are more pictures and information on the vehicle that you have just seen. And also, on the right here, you'll see some more videos from our channel. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great day.